Happy New Year, everyone. We hope you had a nice festive break and uh, are all nice and energized, ready for the new year. So the break was quite good for us. We, um, we had a bit of time off, which was nice, wasn't it, Tamer? That was lovely. A bit of a recharge time, wasn't a it? Bit of a recharge. Plan for, and we put together a plan for 2020, which is all really exciting. Um, but also sales over the festive break were pretty good as well. We had a nice uh, crisp, what was it, Boxing Day sales, yeah. end of year clearance sale, which went really well. That was very popular. Yeah, and we're really starting to push these these Mini Melt buy one get one free boxes as well. So um, we're now back down to the two boxes. So we've got Clean and Fresh and Family Favourites, the Christmas box, which was obviously only in December, uh, November, December. It's all done with now, isn't it? It is, yeah, for another year. Yeah. So you're busy pouring lots of these? I am. Lots and lots of pouring to do, which obviously takes a while, but... Over today is Friday, Friday the 3rd of January, and I think it was since Monday to today, yeah. we've had, was it just, just under, I think it was, just under 300 orders for these. Yeah. So there's a lot of boxes to make up. So each order is minimum of two boxes. It's either two or four, depending on what people order. And as you can see, they've been made up down here. Paige is busy making lots of these. Which box is this you're making up? Family favourites. Family favourites. So that's peony and blush you're putting in there at the moment. Yes. As you can see, it's a long process putting these together. Well, we've got quite a lot of boxes already made up. We're all in yesterday. So as you can see there, there's stacks there and underneath as well, there's a couple of piles as well. One thing we're doing is trying to improve the efficiency and speed of making these boxes. So what we've actually got is a sample here of a custom made box, which will be used for these buy one get one free boxes. At the moment, as you saw out there, it's a, it's a box very similar to this. And when you open it up, there's a piece of tissue paper in there and they're all stacked up individually. But what we had made, sample made, is this one. So they're all nice and segmented. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these these made for us and they're going to be printed on the inside and on the front so we'll have a really nice design so they'll look they'll look great um but then what it will mean is we it will reduce the time it takes for us to make them so we won't have to put a piece of paper in there we won't have to stick that piece of paper together we won't have to put two pieces of paper in there and then on the outside to seal it all down we have a branded sticker which wraps around it which as you can see looks like that so, so it will completely eliminate all of that, which is good because then that means that we can make, make more of them and make them quicker. So that's something that we're looking to get made. Obviously something like this is, is quite expensive because I mean, we sell, we do sell thousands of these. So we'll have to order probably, there's two different boxes, two different designs. So we'll probably have to order about 10,000 boxes of each. Um, and I should imagine every two months we'll have to order that as well. So as you can see, it gets expensive, but that's something we want to do just to try and push and, um, and grow basically, because we want to start selling these abroad as well. So that's what we're gonna be doing. But yeah, we have a, another busy day today, getting things all prepared and uh, made up, ready for the weekend. Today, I've been busy stocking up on a few of our tin candle scents. As you can see, we've got lemon sherbet here, and this is my last one to label up. So each wick gets trimmed down to the right size, as you can see here, before our lid goes on top and all of our lovely branded stickers all wrapped by hands. So I've done a few different scents today, and this is the last one left to label up to go over on our shelves with our other candles that are all down there and you can hear lots of beeping in the background probably at the moment and that's Paul who's busy making lots and lots of noise how's it going Paul yeah. how's it going yeah fine yeah let's finish up the last thing we'll there. there's a, a few going up that looks nice isn't it it's lovely yeah but it's not too bad we're quite up to date with orders at the moment which is um it's lovely, it is, yeah. And our very noisy filling machine over there behind you. It's very yeah. handy, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's up. And our lovely barcode system. Oh yeah, it just seems, it, it just speeds things up so much, doesn't it? It does. You think before we were writing down all the order numbers, 
in the morning video. Many of them as well. I took a very long time, didn't I? It wasn't, it didn't necessarily take too long. Once you've got like, you know, let's say 100 in a day, it's just, you know, in that, in that time it takes to do 100, you can be packing up probably another 30 orders. So, yeah. Just oh, somebody else wants to say hello by the sound of that. Where is she? Hi, hello. <laughs> She's busy telling Paige off because she wants to play ball. Don't you, girl? Oh, we've got work to do, Willow. We're definitely going up in the world at the moment. Currently, as you know, we're using all of these different printers here. We've got this black and white one, which we print all of our labels, sorry, all of our postage labels and invoices. This colour one we just use for like personalised labels, very rarely we use that. And these we use for our CLP labels to go on the bottom of the machine. It's got a lot of machines there. Um, our top labels for our pods, these ones here, we get printed by an external company, which are, which are great. But of course they can be quite, quite pricey and also you don't really have the flexibility uh, to print on demand as you'd like. So today we actually uh, signed our lease on, our, on a brand new photocopier which will do everything we want. We'll be able to print our own labels, uh, print all sorts of stuff. So a very boring little segment for you, but uh, we're going up in the world, would you believe? <laughs> well, it's been a busy couple of days back. Nice to get back in the swing of it. We've been doing lots of restocking, uh, especially our tin candles, and getting lots of our pods made up. At the moment, we're catching up on box making, which is going to be very handy for over the weekend for the sales that come in and especially for the sub box which we're very excited about first sub box of the year which is good it's been lovely to get back yeah it has it has isn't it it has yeah it's lovely it's good to get good to get back and yeah you're just making up lots of these these boxes you sort yeah. of turn into a robot when you're doing this don't you you definitely do <laughs> it's a very long job because it's not as quick to make up as our old boxes we had, but they're litter box friendly, which is the key point for these boxes. And it means the pods inside are nice and secure, doesn't it? They are, yeah, they don't break now and they're nice and safe. Yeah, so they just, look nice as well, don't they? So these, these just pop in the top. Keeps them nice and secure. Yeah, and I don't move and rattle everywhere. And we're currently getting an a pod version as well made aren't we we are we're very excited about that because that will mean a lot less packaging for you to have to worry about in your blue bins which is good yeah exactly it's nice page has done well <laughs> it's quite a, quite a few boxes made only a few more hundred to go <laughs> we're about a step of the way in so have a lovely weekend, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye.